Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video I'll be doing an eye look all products used from Rivage UK. So let's get started. So the first thing I will do is put on this soft headband. First step is to use an eyeshadow primer. If you don't have one, I don't have one. Then using a concealer is an absolute must for long lasting flawless eye makeup. I am using Rivage UK HD Coverage Concealer which is a corrector under eye stick cover up stick. This is in the shade 001. So I'll use a concealer brush. A concealer brush features a small brush head with densely packed bristles and a flat tapered shape at the end. Complete with a long handle, this beauty tool gives you maximum control, making it super easy to provide desired areas of your eye with even coverage. Its small shape also allows you to reach every inch of your eyelid so that you can place the product right where you need it. Then I will use a beauty sponge and press slightly and softly bouncing it so that it is effectively blending the concealer all over the eye area. Before this concealer starts to settle in those fine lines and crease and dry up, I am going to set it with the Color Art Rivage UK Photo Ready Perfect Coverage Mineral Powder with SPF 15 in the shade 04 which is light beige. As soon as I open it, it smells so perfumey. It has a mirror which was covered in plastic and here I am peeling it off. This will help prevent the eyeshadow from looking patchy and make the color super easy to blend out. The powder is going to soak up any greasiness as well as give the eye a soft matte base. Use an eyelash curler, curl the top lashes and don't forget your bottom lashes. I will be trying a new product which are these eyeshadow shields or guards. These are convenient, easy to use, half moon shaped shields which sit comfortably under the eye. The sticker behind is divided so you can just peel the bottom part or the top part or the whole semicircle. This is a hands-free design. Just simply press these disposable self-adhesive shields to your under eye area and we can start applying our first eyeshadow. To apply the first eyeshadow color, I will use this tapered blending brush. This makes applying and blending product along the lid and outer corners of the eye a breeze. I am using this matte bronzer powder. Apply a light colored brown eyeshadow to your upper lid and over your brow bone blending in the direction of your temples. Then I will use a waterproof herbal kajal from Rivage UK. This is in the shade matte black and it's very smooth and creamy. I will apply the kajal on both the upper and lower lash line using a small angled flat brush. I will also be lining the lower and upper water line with the kajal and this is called tight lining and it just gives a fuller look to the lashes. Then removing excess product on a small angled brush on a tissue, I will then extend the kajal steadily on the upper lash line and bring it till the middle of the eye. Then I will use the Jet Black Waterproof Mascara from Rivage UK. So on their packaging, they're claiming that the specially engineered brush helps to coat each lash as well as help to separate and define the lashes for a more fuller look. And I will show you how to apply the mascara very neatly. An easy trick is to hold a face mask silicone applicator over the eyelid so it acts as a shield between the lashes and the skin. Apply one or two strokes of mascara without worrying about it getting transferred onto your skin. Any residue that would have otherwise landed on the skin will be sitting on the silicone applicator. Isn't this makeup tip the best you have learned so far? The silicone applicator is so easy to clean and reuse instantly afterwards. So I will use Rivage UK's Dazzling Shimmer Liquid Eye Shadow. Now this is a form of eye makeup that comes in a tube with a doe foot applicator. This is in the shade 05 which is a dazzling silver grey shimmer. Now the liquid eyeshadow combines the perfect mix of pearl and glitter to lavish the eyes with incredible luster and shimmer. How to apply, just dip the applicator in the product and apply to your eyelid using small gentle strokes. I love the texture as it applies very smoothly and evenly. There is no tugging and if you want to apply a second layer, let the first layer dry very thoroughly. Once it dries down, it doesn't smear or smudge. If you're going for a bolder, more saturated look, you can go in again with another layer of liquid eyeshadow. Then using a pencil brush, I will apply the shimmer liquid eyeshadow to the lower lash line. Then I will use Rivage UK's dual eyebrow pencil, extra position on one end and a spoolie brush for blending on the other. The texture was so hard and there's no pigment payoff. Just fill in the brow contour using the pencil's slim tip, draw small hair like strokes in an upward motion along the brow contour. Focus on filling in areas where hair is sparse and lightly go over the rest of the brow to even things out. Using the spoolie, just use it to groom the hairs upwards and outwards to blend in color and set the brows. For highlighter, I'm using the brand Ofra. This highlighter is in the shade Beverly Hills. 
Inner corner highlighting, also known as eye strobing, is a quick and easy way to make your eyes stand out and make you look more awake. To apply the highlighter, I will use an eyeliner brush. It is a very, very small brush with a line of short, soft bristles, and it will help me in applying the highlighter in the inner corner of the eyes with precision. This quick trick can make your eyes pop, it can enhance the rest of your eye makeup, and it can make your makeup look lighter. Then I will use this micellar cleansing makeup wipes from Mirage UK to clean up the under eye area. Now you can keep your eye makeup as is or you can just add a little bit of more eye drama by using Revage UK 003 Tigress False Eyelashes. So these lashes as you can see are just so delicate, they're so flimsy, they were so hard to clean. Considering all the cons of these eyelashes, these eyelashes, the style turned out really really beautiful. And we're done! So everyone, if you really enjoy watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, Press that bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.